For the first time in my life, I am using wooden posts. I like metal uh, pipe in the ground for pull posts, for fence po uh, gate posts and stuff, but I have just about run out of pipe and I don't want to go buy anymore. So these were cheap. I decided I'd try them and I think I like them. So, uh, but I've got an issue that I want to show you. You're going to have to deal with a little wind today, so I'm going to try to speak up. Uh, I pulled uh, this fence here. This is a, a 90 degree angle here that I've got a fence going this way and fence coming back this way, okay? Uh, when I pulled this fence, it made this post lean a little. That is straight up and down. That is leaning, okay? So it's leaning a little bit. And then when I put this strand of barbed wire on top of this side of it, it leaned back this way a little bit. Now, Alderman Farms, I believe it's Alderman, has got a video on how to put a keyway in the bottom of your uh, of the hole to keep it from doing that. I did not do that, so I had to come up with a different solution, and I've already done it on one post. And let me show you what so I did. So what I've already done, I did on this post, was to put some wedges up against it. Now, where did I get my wedges? I've got one there. I got one around that backside. And what it is, is just a piece of the fence post. When I put the fence post in the ground, I, um, I cut them at an angle because I want to be able to push them in the ground also. I dug the hole as far as I could go and then I want to be able to push it down with my front end loader. Well I just I just the post was like this um, and I just excuse me, the post was like this so I just I cut it at an angle where in other words the bottom of the post now looks like a V. I didn't sharpen it like a pencil just put two cuts in it one here one here but I had these left over, so I said, well, what the heck? I believe that would keep that post from leaning. So I got in here with my front end loader, pushed the post back to where I wanted it, which left me a gap right here, drove these in here with a sledge, and that sucker has held very, very good. So I'm going to do that with the other one, and I'll show it to you now. tension against the post. Come in here with my wedges. Since I'm pulling this way, I'm going to look to drive a wedge here, and it's also got a fence pulling this way, so I'm going to drive a wedge on this side too. done it is level and uh, I gotta be honest with you <laughs> I drove in more than just those two little wedges I drove in several of them because uh, apparently that fence was tight and it did not want to stay so I pushed it up drove a bunch of stuff in there and uh, hopefully it'll stay uh, the ground is soft this is clay and, and uh, we had had a lot of rain plus I filled these holes up with water to so I could drive the push those sharpened posts down in there. I don't want them to go deep. So uh, anyway, just kind of mushy and that's one reason it did that. But I did pull it pretty tight. Anyway, that is the way to uh, straighten up a post if, uh, if you got one that's leaning. Uh, typically, all those little, all these little wires here, all these here, I take those off. Uh, I did on the front of the place when I'm when you're wrapping around uh, a pull post because just to have one wire wrapped around there looks a whole lot better than having those little uh, you know little ties the twist where they twist the wire around it I, I pull all those off typically but this is about a third of the way back on my place ain't nobody gonna see this but me and some sheep probably so uh, I didn't do it here. It is kind of a pain in the butt, but it does make it look a whole lot prettier. 
especially when you got two fences meeting like this and, and uh, you know you got a lot of stuff in there going on one I'm going this way one I'm going that way and it's wrapped around and wrapped around whatever looks kind of busy it looks kind of tacky but again don't care I'm not gonna show it to anybody but y'all okay so y'all know my secret don't tell anybody <sighs> I'm tired driving slinging swinging a sledgehammer <laughs> Not like it was when I was 30 or 40. It's just uh, not the same. So I'll cover this up, cover, throw the dirt back in there, pack it down good, and uh, we're done. This is looking good. I used an old gate, one of my old gates. I replaced them, as you, as you have seen, with the new gates. And uh, But I don't throw away nothing. So there's, uh, I got uh, this one, and uh, I put another one on the, other, on the other side of this fence, just right over here one of my other old gates and I've got two other old gates back in the back that I've had for a long long time that I pulled down a long long time that in fact those replaced so don't throw away nothing if you can if you got stuff place to store it I believe we're gonna be gone